Welcome to part two of this side quest. In this episode, we're going to rip apart a Scion 3A to see how it's put together and what we can salvage from the uh, from the poor Scion that's going to be the donor to our Jaguar Scion. If you missed part one, you'll see that we got that up and running by changing the battery compartment. But there was a few problems like um, the button bar didn't work and also uh, the keyboard membrane is a little bit dirty and um, I'm still debating whether to change the screen or not. So why don't we get started with the teardown of the Scion 3A. So the goal today is to try and take this Scion completely apart and see what we can salvage in terms of parts. It also, I can use this as a bit of a learning exercise to see exactly how these things are put together um, because we're gonna be repairing this Jaguar branded uh, two meg Scion with a broken button bar, lousy looking keyboard, bit of a grotty looking screen. Um, we've already replaced obviously the battery compartment um, that was in part one. So let's have a look at taking one of these guys apart. So I'm going to start with the um, trying to get access to the motherboard. So Oh, right, rewind, start again. There's some screws in here. Um, this is a good time to take a look at quickly at the uh, Scion SSDs. So this is a 128K flash one. This has got uh, some games on it. We can take a look at that later when we get uh, a working Scion. Yeah, there's some screws that I completely forgot about. And this confirms this Scion's um, been repaired before because this is the void if warranty removed and this screw looks a little bit worn as well like the ones that were in the battery compartment so let's try and get these out I should also pop the backup battery Easier. Nearly broke it on the first go. That's great. Um, so I understand that this needs to kind of slide out from under here. There are some clips somewhere. I mean, I think this is going to come off because of our broken hinge anyway, which doesn't teach as much. Oh no. Okay, that wasn't so bad. So that's a keyboard cover. This is the membrane keyboard. This is, uh, we're going to use this one in our Jaguar keyboard. I'll give it a little bit of a clean. So to get this motherboard out, um, I believe you have to push in, yeah, push in this, the RS-232 connector here. Uh, we've already taken out the batteries, so I'm hoping that this just slides out. That was fairly painless. Um, although I have a feeling that's going to be really good fun to put back in. Uh, so I need to remember <laughs> that this is a one meg board, right? Because we're going to swap out the board in the 512K one with that so that the blue ribbon looks like it's for the button bar. Is there a way to clip that off? I'm sure there is. Maybe it's held in place by these hinges so they just unclip round. Sure. Come off. 
there. Okay, so that's kind of just held in there by some pegs, it looks like. Let's try and not break too much stuff. Unclip that. Unclip that. The button bar is free. So maybe when the battery's corroded on the uh, on the Jaguar Scion, um, then maybe damage this cable. So let's try and not damage this cable, but get it out. Try a screwdriver. So there's some clips there. There's not a great amount of resources online for um, repairing Scions. Um, it's kind of old blogs. Um, otherwise, I'd be oh, here we go. I'd be probably referencing videos and things a little bit more than I uh, than I am. Uh, right. Okay. So that just oh god, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Is that as far out as it comes? So that ribbon cable slots in there. I guess it only can fit one way. Slots in there and then clips in. Okay. And finally we have the screen now. I'm guessing this is a similar. And that there are these clips on either side. Push out the allow you to push out that, which then allows the ribbon cable, which goes in underneath all of that. I hope I remember how to do all this. Um, and there's a second ribbon cable here. So what's that for? I guess we're taking off the shielding. Again, looks like maybe someone's been in here. Um, is this just clipped in? No, oh, and it's actually screwed in to the board here. So we can see inside that this Scion had silver screws where I think repairs have been made, but internally it's got these black screws, which I believe are the originals. Well, we'll take that out. Oh, okay. So what was that connected to? Was that just the ground? It's just a ground, right? I think it went there. So the final thing to look at is how the screen, how the screen is connected. Because I, I, I do think we're going to replace the screen now. I believe this is glued. So I guess I guess we find out, right? I guess we find out. This is future Nick interrupting past Nick. What I'm about to do, you might not necessarily need to do for your Scion. Turns out there are two different types of screen and I think it's all to do with the age of the Scion. So the early models, you absolutely had to do this with. The later models, you'll find out you didn't have to do this with, if that makes sense. So if you're following along at home, which I doubt, pause for a little bit, see what I do, see what I do wrong. See if this will get under there. Oh, oh. Interesting. Let's try and get in from the other side.
Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. Right, so I was going too deep. And luckily someone's had a go at this screen already, which is what that damage was. So the screen is glued on. Um, and I guess we need to find a nice way of ungluing it without doing too much damage. This will determine whether I bother replacing the screen. On the Jaguar Scion. It's a shame this wasn't just a, a clip-on unit. I know that repair costs were pretty expensive if you took them to Scion. There is still a, um, a company that does Scion repairs. Um, I think they're called Scionics. But to be honest, like buying a donor, the donor Scion, for like, I think this one was £8.90 or something like that. Uh, and having a go yourself is probably a better way to go. Because I've never done this before, this is not the kind of thing I normally do. But. Um, start with something, right? I can smell the glue. I was like, what's that? I think I can smell the glue from the screen. So if I start passing out, you know why. It's not as sealed along the top, which is interesting. So maybe that's the place to start, right on this top bit. Definitely smell something. Alright, I'm worried it's a camera or a light now. And the, so if you see flames behind me, it's probably too late. Just trying to do this as slow as possible. Ideally, a plastic tool would be better than this, but it's so it's so sticky that I don't think I've got anything that would prize the glue better than this. I'm using quite a lot of pressure. Great. So I just ripped it there. So that's something to be careful of. Hmm. So when we come to the Jaguar, well, we've got to be super careful. That just seems like that glue is completely dried out. And taken. I'm just going to take this with it as well. Yeah, I mean, so I, I guess you could replace the whole screen unit if you had one that didn't have the broken hinges. Um, but they're pretty pretty hard. They're, they're more expensive because obviously the, if the songs are fully working there, it's one of the major failures, uh, fail points for the, for the Scion. Um, but if you've got a broken hinge, you can't just replace the whole screen unit. Plus, I, I'm not worked out how to get into those hinges yet. Uh, so now that we've done that, what have we got? We got can we get further into anything? Is it clipped in still? This is where I find out there's some screws. So let, like, let's check for screws first. Yes. Okay, there's uh, a couple of screws. So, uh, that's, oh, these seem much smaller as well. So, Yeah. 
hopefully this just pops out now. Okay, so we start with the middle. So a question would be, if this whole screen assembly comes out, what was the point in me taking this off? Right? And now I've trashed it, so not great. So it seems like you can just straight swap uh, the screen assembly. That would have been nice to know. Because um, this looks a little bit more involved to get into. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm going to think about the best way to recover this. It might be that we uh, we just straight install. Knowing what we know, we straight install the screen from this one, and we don't. We just have one. We don't have a second one to uh, as a backup. Yeah, so hopefully this video has taught you that to swap the screens, you don't necessarily need to uh, take that off. Okay. So that's a teardown of a Scion 3A. In the next part, what we're going to do is transplant some of those parts into the Jaguar Scion and try and create this Hero Scion 3A. Um, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned, there'll be more side questing soon.